brought your version of Fat Boys Incorporated to Club Center, or as a freshman, is it just I'm just kind of watching and learning right now? Uh, me, I feel like, uh, you know, just as a person, bringing my own style in. I think um, you know, I think a lot of guys can uh, contribute. I mean, like, well, take from my style and you know, and learn from me. But right now, as a freshman, I'm trying to learn from everybody else. Right now, as a player, yeah. What I can remember, you know, especially out of the Shrine Bowl, was how much of a leader, how talkative you were. Yeah. You're always smiling. Yeah. Is it still that same way out here, or, or how do you treat it now? That um, a yeah, as a freshman, you know, I'm just, I'm right now, I'm just sitting back trying to learn, you know, trying to learn different styles of leadership and things like that. But, you know, every now and again, I get hype and, you know, I, I try to pump them up a little bit. But uh, right now, I'm just I'm just learning from everybody else. What was it like to get those snaps Saturday at Miami on yeah. the road, finally get in, get loose enough of the day? Um, That was the first time I had that many snaps this season. So it was it was a good thing. Uh, you know, I learned, I learned a lot from it. Um, I'm very, I'm very blessed to have those snaps, um, and uh, I'm just, I'm just happy that I had them. You know, that I was able to, you know, get in and make some plays. And you guys also the shutout. I know that right, right, guys right, right. Uh, I thank the coaches for trusting us. You know, to go out there and uh, and continue to shut out. You know, get a goose egg, and um, that that's a good thing that the coaches trust us that, that we could be it, that we'd be able to go out there and you know and continue to uh, the shut out. Mm -hmm. Dabo went over there and he like started to congratulate every single one of you. What yeah. does that mean when your head coach comes over there and does that? Oh, it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. Um, I'm happy he did it, you know, and it just it just shows that he cares. You guys have a lot of depth on the defensive line, especially mm -hmm. now with DJ Reader back. How valuable is that for your team? Oh, it's very valuable. It's very valuable. Um, I knew coming in, you know, when DJ came back, the snaps was going to be limited for me. But I'm glad it was a shutout and, you know, that I got some snaps and me and him actually were in the game at the same time and, you know, played together and had a good time doing it. So it's good. What's the biggest thing you've had to learn at defensive tackle? Uh, just play with more technique. Me, as a as a guy in high school, I was I was more of a bully, more of a, you know, physical guy. And now it's more of a technique speed thing. So that's, that's one thing I just have to critique is my uh, technique. Uh, uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, you know, he's older, so he has a lot of experience, you know, and I, I just, every time we go in meetings, I just try to listen to him, you know, try to take everything in, writing things down that he say, you know, just, just try to critique my game so I could be one of the best. When you're in the defensive meeting room, you guys coming into the season, there's a lot of question marks on the defensive line. A lot of people question you guys, uh, depth. Mm -hmm. now, now that you guys have proven that you got depth there and you've got some results and you've, mm -hmm. you've become a defensive line with a lot of uh, integrity, what do you guys feel like in the, in the defensive lineman room about yourselves? Um, I feel like I feel like we're we're up there, you know. We're one of the top defense lines in the nation, you know, and uh, that's all I can say about that. You know, we we're just happy. We're happy to be here, and we're just ready to play next game.